Hello, okay, so today we are going to talk about aloe vera and I am going to show you a couple of things that you can do with a big juicy leaf like this including one of my favourite and easiest two ingredient recipes one of the ingredients is this, so let's get into it what, uh, what are the uses of aloe vera, okay? so I've uh, got some notes here Topically, on the skin as a moisturiser, um, on the hair as a conditioner, as a shampoo, as a hair gel. It can be used for minor like cuts and burns and blisters, things like sunburn. It's literally used in everything from face cream to shampoos to toothpastes. Um, there's a whole range of products out there, diet pills, everything, and you can get it in the liquid, the gel, the oil and the powder form. Um, often it's used as in the liquid gel form in cosmetics and the thing with that is because it's water based and all of this is like water inside in order to use it in a product people have to put a preservative in it to prolong its shelf life because water can breed bacteria very quickly and it can go off very quickly so yes uh, with aloe sugar um, we don't tend to put the gel in our products we just recommend people buy the leaves and use it topically like rubbing it on your skin or scrunching it in your hair dropping some in the bath eating it um, but we do use it in a powder form and make our own oil but generally I would personally recommend that you use the fresh thing direct from the source every time so this one in particular I got from the Caribbean shop on Ilkeston Road next to the post office. You can also get them this size from Mitchell's Soul Food on Alfreton Road. And if you go to the natural health food store on Mansfield Road at the bottom, near Vicky Centre in Nottingham this is, uh, you can get Aloe Nottingham's and, and he does a really good job of finding very high quality ones. Um, these ones aren't certified organic but this cost me £3.50. So, you will be amazed at how much gel you can get out of this and I actually bought it a week and two days ago and it still looks like this. It lasts for ages and there's so much in here, literally it's enough for about a month I think. Okay, so um, it contains 23 polypeptides which are immune system stimulators to keep you healthy. It's also got salicylic acid, so if you watched the previous video about um, chemical exfoliators, this has it in naturally, helps with skin cell turnover, uh, can reduce wrinkles and acne. It's got polysaccharides, vitamins B1, B2 and B6 and vitamin C, niacin, calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, it's got so many great properties inside. Um, the thing with aloe vera is it can penetrate all three layers of your skin or the dermis so it can really draw those nutrients into your um, into your skin whether on your face or your body um, anti-inflammatory it's good for acne wrinkles psoriasis eczema hemorrhoids sunburn stretch marks and even dark circles so these are the things that people have been using aloe vera for thousands of years um, literally it's been like recorded in ancient Africa, Mesopotamia, India, it's literally travelled all along the world. Aloe vera is part of the like succulent family, it's basically a cactus. Um, they hardly need any water at all and they'll draw it all up through these leaves which are just packed full, it's so juicy. Ah. Right, so let me show you a book that I think everyone should get if you're interested in. It's um, Leo Lee Faber, my friend Sarah introduced me to this book and I love it and one thing you will see quite early on is this diagram which might just be a little bit blurry but what it is is basically showing that on the rind, this green rind, underneath it is the first gel which is the aloe latex and it's a yellow liquid um, that you don't really want so in a minute we'll cut it open and you're going to see the yellow liquid come out quite quick and then what's inside the fleshy gel and the water in between the gel so it's just got it's got all these different constituents to it um it's got a history of over 3500 years across the world i really recommend you get this book one thing um that lee says in this book aloe contains um choline helpful for memory 
um, plus glutamic acid, thiamine and uh, lots of other things that increase mental alertness and neuron activity. These have been found in studies. And it's demonstrated to enhance the immune system's response to cancer, promote the growth of new and healthy cells and reduce the overall viral load within the body, thereby revitalizing the body in its fight against the disease cancer. So that's um, enough of that. I am now going to show you a few things. So unfortunately my mat is down here but I will cut it and show you. So you want to take off about that much from the bottom but even this bit as you can see is so glossy and jelly you can just like rub it on your skin like that and that's great this is going to be my facial for the night um what i will show you it smells like onion by the way um i think like it's easier to kind of cut the ends off like the edges and then skin it along the bottom there And then, this is very rough, I'm doing it on the bit that, so it's not so much of a waste. So I've cut it now and I've sliced it and as you can see there's this kind of liquid pouring out of the fleshy gel. So it is the gel really, and, uh, but it's also got these lumps that you can see which is in the middle of it. And then all along, if we just slice this off, oh, okay this is a tough cookie. all along the rind <laughs> is where the yellow latex is. We've got the yellow latex, then we've got this like gel here. I really hope it's not too blurry. And then we've got this like wateriness as well. So this is great. <laughs> People use it as a moisturizer because like I say it penetrates three layers of skin and it's got so many vitamins in it and I personally just adore aloe vera. You can also eat it, um, throw it in your juice, but do be careful not to include the latex because in large doses it was found to um, produce tumours in lab rats, so whatever you think about that. It used to be in diet pills and then it got taken out for that reason. So here we have the bottom cut off. I'm just going to cut like a bit about maybe that much, literally just like an inch or two off this leaf. So you can slice these up, you can keep them in the fridge or the freezer, chop it up, put it in your juice or just use it as your moisturiser, your hair gel, hair conditioner. Um, and this recipe that I'm going to show you is literally, we take off the little edges, take off the skin as close as you can. I'm not very good at that, I'm afraid, on video. Whoa. And then what I would do is get a pot to just score, score it along the flesh, like the back of the rind, and then peel it off and just let it go into a pot, the big gel bits and the water and Basically, you can look at that. <laughs> this is all seeping out and it can get very messy, so be careful with your hands. Especially watch children if you're doing it with them because it can get slippy. So, just for the process of being quick, because I'm already at nearly 10 minutes on this video. Um, fill yourself a little pot with the aloe gel and then literally pour in some avocado oil. So I like to get very high quality avocado oil, I'll put some links on the video. And you just like pour in some avocado oil, and you can do it with olive oil too. And then you can either just use that as is and mix it up, or you can um, blend it, like in a food processor. And I would slather my hair and my body <laughs> and my glasses in it. So literally as a deep hair conditioner, slather it in it, wrap it in a little bonnet or something or a shower cap, watch Netflix and then shampoo it out a couple of times and it's great. This is also brilliant for sunburn because it's very super moisturising um, and aloe vera is used often for sunburn. In fact, it's probably one of its most famous uses. So I find this is a great after sun lotion 
So if I'm on holiday sometimes and you can't take many ingredients, um, all you have to do is go and find some aloe vera from the, a shop. Like just get one or two leaves for your holiday. Pardon me, and then get a carrier oil like avocado oil, sweet almond oil, or olive oil, or something like that, and blend it together. And you've got a body moisturizer, a deep hair treatment, after sun lotion, all of that. So, yes, that is the super, super easy recipe. So, another thing you can do is <laughs> usually I would just like let it drip overnight. So, now that I've cut it, I'm just going to let that upright into a jar maybe not this one because it doesn't fit but i'm just going to let it overnight into a jar there you go and quite soon you can't you probably can't see it in the video but there's a bright yellow liquid already seeping out of it so if you leave that overnight in the morning that's going to be full of a yellow liquid that i personally find irritating and i don't want it on my skin or in my body so um yeah maybe you can see that Sorry, we're on some low-tech camera stuff here. Yeah. So leave your aloe stem to sleep overnight. Like I said, this is £3.50. You can get um, slightly higher quality ones in Nottingham um, from the natural health food store for about um, two to three times the price, really. But they are, they are good. Um, and I just think if you're going to get started on your aloe vera journey, you might as well go big and do loads of experiments and if you do make some products yourself please let me know what they are i will be back tomorrow with another video and i'm just gonna mm. <laughs>